Now when you have all your symbols done and you have all of your footprints done, the next thing we need to do is combine it all into a device and that com connects your symbol to footprint. And so uh, I told you we would uh, revisit this battery and the reason is I don't like the symbol. So this is how you would edit something that we imported in from uh, a, the Ultra Librarian tool on DigiKey. And this is the battery symbol we're going to use. And you can see it's got three pins. See the three circles, uh, which is good because our battery retaining clip also has three pins. It's got the large circle, which is for ground, and then the side uh, pads. So those would be uh, two other pins. And so what I'm doing now is setting the prefix so that when we put this in our schematic, it will uh, be B. Now here we want to be careful because... Uh, we've got three names on our pens and that comes from the schematic and then our pads have three different names so we want to be making sure that we connect uh, one to the right one and uh, that would be one would be positive because it's the left pen the middle pen we know is the ground uh, and that is going to be three and then we'll connect uh, I mean sorry two is the negative and then three is the second positive pin so two in the middle is negative and the outside pins are uh, positive. So that's that's super important because you make this PCB and you connect the pins around. Next thing you know, you solder everything up and you're shorting your, your positive to your negative. It doesn't even go through your circuit. So now let's make another device. This is going to be uh, connecting our capacitor. And... Uh, going to be the electrolytic capacitor this is this is how uh, the the idea here is we create all these devices and when we make our schematic we can jump right into the PCB because we've already told uh, the PCB how everything needs to be interconnected so the device is what does this so here's our schematic symbol for the electrolytic capacitor and in, it's important where you place this you see I'm placing it right here on this X because that's where when you use the move command uh, it's going to grab it and it's super annoying if it's somewhere uh, that's unintuitive you'll be looking for it all day trying to move a device alright now we load the uh, footprint in and you'll notice since we made the 3D package generator it automatically brings in the 3D package our prefix will be C Make sure you turn the value on as well because uh, you won't be able to add a value to it otherwise. And now we're going to connect one to one, two to two. Simple as that. And now you can highlight it and see the whole thing. Alright, so the next thing we're going to make is this uh, switch device. And this is a tactile switch. Now I'll add the symbol that we made for it. Again, I want to make sure I put this thing right on the center, so I'll change the spacing here just to make sure I get that. Because when I'm in schematic, and you'll see this a little bit later, when I go to grab this, this is where intuitively I'm going to think, okay, I need to grab it here. Now that might be determined by your schematic symbol. Uh, I have to verify that but uh, just to make sure let's go ahead and go into the switch and I want to make sure that 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 cross right there is in directly in the middle so I'll go ahead and change my dimensions and this just makes it easier I'd get in the habit of uh, paying attention to where the origin is in your symbol so now I line it up
we can go back in here and you see it updated it let's go ahead and move that back and line those origins up Perfect. Now we'll add our package, which is the footprint. You can see it, it distipples or grays out everything that doesn't have the right pin count. So your pin counts have to match. That's just a rule built in the EOCAD. And this prefix will be S for switch. The value on, although usually uh, your switches don't have a value, but if you wanted to put something and because we paid attention to our schematic symbol in our footprint this is going to be easy it's just one to one two to two three to three four to four moving on to the next device we'll go ahead and do the LED here The way you name this, that's completely up to you. I like to name mine by its uh, general component name and then followed by any amplifying information separated by a comma. But if you go on to uh, do PCB design at your job, then uh, the way your, your, your place of work will, will have a preferred method. And that's usually because uh, as you do more and more schematics and designs, your library of parts builds up and it's helpful just to have them all organized. So go ahead and add the package. Now this prefix you could just do LED or you could do D because technically a LED is a diode. I'll go ahead and do LED because that's what I want on my silk screen. And here our pin naming and pad naming are slightly different in the pins from the schematic symbol. So um, if I just cancel here, you'll see it's easy to go back and make small changes like this without having to redo anything. I'm just going to highlight this. And this is the positive. This is the negative. And then we'll go back into the device. And now you can see they match. I like to have it to match because I've uh, done this too many times where I've incorrectly connected the wrong pin to pad. Uh, not so much on a two pin device, but when you get into a microcontroller or uh, different ICs, uh, this, this will bite you. even a MOSFET, I, I have to say, uh, the three pins of a MOSFET, even when you triple check it, you could still make a mistake. So attention to detail, attention to detail. So now let's go ahead and make the resistor. And really with the resistor, because we're using a standard package, we didn't have to do this. It's already built into the EOCAD library. This is just my organizational preference of having uh, everything in one small library so that I'm not having to comb through hundreds of libraries to find a part and I don't have to second guess myself I already did all the work here on the front end so now we'll add the package and again I didn't draw any of this I just kinda reorganized it and imported it from the other ones so turn the value on and resistor is done let's go ahead and make our NPN Again, this is just my preference. I like to put its generic name, which it's a transistor first, and then more amplifying information in PN separated by comma. Because we made this with the package generator, we happen to have a 3D package, which is nice. 
and I did all the guarantee work before making sure that I had the base and the emitter set up right so that part's already finished now we're going to uh, do the variable resistor or the trim And if you're just jumping in this video, uh, it really takes the previous videos because we just go through all the symbols at once, all the footprints at once, and then device. You could just do it the other way around and go one symbol, one footprint, device, symbol, footprint, device, symbol, footprint, device. I just, I like to kind of have tunnel vision and just uh, steamroll through all of my symbols at once, all of my footprints at once. There we have it. We have everything finished.